Oh, wow, I think that's uh, just about. Oh, wow, I think that's uh, bring that down. That's just about all right. Can we see? Can we see comments? Can we see? Let's have a look. Right, I will start. Good evening. So I'm Shamim from Domley Dimples and um, tonight I'm going to be using shoe stamp number seven, I believe. Number seven. Oh, it's a good size uh, stamp. You've got this shoe stamp, you've got the birdie, you've got a couple of little extras and you've got a, um, a border stamp that goes with it as well. So I'm going to be using Mementus. Mementus ink. So I'm going to be doing a watercolour on this. Oh, I haven't checked where my paper is. Have I? Does it me? Does it me? That again. I think I even forgot to put a post up that I was going live. Let's get that. I'm going to use some of my mixed media card. I'm going to pop that one there and get those lined up on there. Oh, slide that over and that one. Oh. And get that inked up. There we go. So, reason why I'm using Mementus is not. Oh, I didn't want to use Mementus actually. I've got that out by mistake because I was using alcohol inks earlier. I want to use. Uh, I've got time to rub it off. I want to use my Hero Arts Intense. And it's a hybrid ink pad, which is great for watercolour as well. Which is what I'm going to use tonight. There we go. Let's get this stamped. There we go. Right, Maxine. Oh, I forgot to put a post up saying that was on. Totally, totally forgot. I mean, it wasn't one this afternoon that I suddenly thought, oh, it's Tuesday. Uh, there we go. So I'm using stamp set number seven um, and the shoe, which comes with the birdie and a couple of little flourishes and this big border stamp, which comes separately. So I've got that stamped and I'm going to have a play with Ecoline inks, not the pens, the actual inks, because I thought, do you know, I've not played with them that much. So that's what I'm going to have a play with. So I've got my mat underneath, this uh, white card underneath that as well. So hopefully, you see that okay? Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, love. It's uh, It's been a really quite nice, nice day outside today. It's been... Uh, Quite, quite a nice, relaxing day. Got a lot of work done and bits and pieces and a lot of phone calls and emails and, and you know, the boring basics done. But, uh, yeah, it's been quite a nice day. Now, do a colour the stamp, do a colour the shoe in first or do the background. Because when I do, I want to do like a, like a sky. And sometimes, sometimes my backgrounds go a bit peaked on and I don't like it and then if I've spent ages colouring this in and I've gone off with that it's like mmm you know and you could start again but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the background first and then I'm going to do the shoe and I'm just going to give that a wash of colour 
and if I'm not overly happy with with the background then I cut it out and then nothing wasted you know I haven't wasted loads of time colouring it in but you know we'll we'll go with the flow so I'm going to get a big fat paintbrush well not a huge paintbrush but um, a decent sized paintbrush and I'm just going to add a little bit of water to my mat and I'm going to put that on there so it kind of like sticks to it so this is my mixed media card Hi Lou, do you know I forgot to put a post up in the group that I was on? <laughs> what a dizzy. What an absolute dizzy. Um, so I'm going to get some um, water on my paintbrush and I'm literally just going to flip. So you can see my card is just starting to curl with that little bit of uh, water underneath. But I'm literally just going to paint, let's spin it round, do it this way. I'm going to paint sort of halfway across just water. I know you can't see it because it's wet clear water. I'm going to pen it halfway across. So I'm using shoe number seven, my mixed media card, and I'm just going to flood my mixed media card with some water. Uh, go around my shoe. Outside. Um, it's not until you start to get colour on where you realise that, you know, you haven't gone all the way. So I think, I think we'll take it a little bit lower down so it goes in line with that. So I'm just flooding that. I always go back in and add. Hi Jacqueline, how are you my dear? I was just saying to Maxine, it's uh, been a rather nice pleasant day here today. So I did start off with, I had Momentous Ink. And I can see that the underneath layer of that is just um, starting to bleed a bit, but I can disguise that. And then I realised, wiped it off and stamped it with the Hero Arts one, because I want to use watercolour. So I've got plenty of water on there, make sure it's all covered um halfway across and just spin that round so i have played with something that i haven't played with for a wee while and it is the ecoline inks not the pens that we usually use to and i'm going to go for the blue i'm just going to put a little blob on and they have those little like droplet thingies a blob on the mat I'm going to pick up that colour and then I'm just going to give it a wash of colour like so. I'm going to go carefully around the shoe because I don't really want the blue on the shoe. And I could have used my masking fluid and masked off the shoe but do you know what? I cannot be bothered. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to spin it around and do well we've not put that much water down there or it's drying out already I should have put a load more on but wash of colour get it on and then I also want this grey I love this grey and we'll have a bit of a dirty sky in there going to add a little bit more water there we go I'm just going to take it a little bit further up there and remember this bit here I'm hoping I'm hoping it hasn't dried I'm hoping I've got enough water on there all I'm going to do it looks really weird really bizarre I think I want to bit more of the blue let's have a mess just shook a little bit more I'm going to be taking some off it seems really bizarre but it's quite wet <laughs> let's get rid of that right so I've now got a tissue and I'm just going to roll it up like this and I'm just going to drag it down randomly pull in a little bit of that paint off just so it's kind of patchy I find it easier to do it in a roll and at an angle and then it doesn't look too perfect if that makes sense of like patches you can just dot in I find when I dot in I end up getting it all over my fingers so I think I'm quite happy with that what do you guys think there's a couple of little little spots in there that I've missed but 
something and nothing we can trim it back let's go in just pick up a little bit of that color there pop that in so fairly sort of rush really really simple it isn't anything complicated that anybody can't do would you agree guys would you agree with me let's get rid of that <clears throat> yeah i'm okay i'm okay jacqueline i'm fine we can't see now an interesting day just wipe that off okay so that's my that's my kind of my scenery done at the front evening kim i hope you're all right my dear you had a good day today I was kind of um in an hour whether or not I was coming on tonight or not. And I thought, you know what? I kind of want to get a little bit of normality. So I'm trying to do regular on a Tuesday. Um, right, I'm going to do the green now. But it's been, been quite a calming day today. Calming day. A little bit of crafting this morning. Uh, a little bit of green. And it's quite a, quite a bright green, this. But I'm going to use it anyway. But I could mix it with a little bit of brown let's see let's see and we'll get a scrap of card let's get a scrap of card because you can do a test first so i'm just having a, a little bit of a play session it's just like rooting around and have oh what am i going to use what am i going to use that i haven't used oh, i'm glad you're welcome oh it's good to know everybody's well as well well, Lou's dog, he's been a bit poorly, aren't he? They were telling me all about it. And lo and behold, poor, Mo poor Molly threw up last night. Bless her. And bless Ty as well. Just, the sad thing about doggies is you they can't really tell you what's wrong with them, can they? So I'm going to take the water. I'm going to do a um, similar sort of thing with the the grass area down at the bottom and again if you don't like the background that you've done i can carry it i wouldn't throw it in the bin i'd just trim around it and cut the shoe out so i'm going to get the background done first sometimes i like to do it the other way around but there is no reason for us doing it whichever way oh they're definitely under the weather bless these cotton socks right i'm just going to mix those two colors together and see whether or not I like. Ooh, that's, yeah. So, I'm ah, liking that. So it was a, a little touch of the brown and a little touch of the green. I'm going to go with that. Go with that one and I can brighten it up if I want to do. But I quite like that kind of dirty brown, dirty green. So, put that in. It doesn't have to be perfect. A little bit of something I, I quite like doing these with um and and leaving it white or using my stencils but i just thought i'll have a mess around and just have a play tonight there we go just get that underneath there and i'll let that layer darken before i go in and add add to it and try and knock back that definite line if that makes sense don't want it all solid so again i'm going to take um, a bit of tissue this time i'm just going to pounce a little bit of the color not roll it this time just pounce a little bit so i've got some line around areas when that's dry completely i mean i could give it a blast with the heat gun yay let's blast it let's give it a blast let's blast away <laughs> Now, you will be pleased. I am doing a giveaway tonight. Hi, Kay. You were just watching her on YouTube. <laughs> I, I've got a cool, cool background stamp to give away today. And I think I've only used it twice. Let me see. Where did, I did get it out. I was prepared. 
spread it out. There is it. Packaging and all. This is, this is Studio Light one. And I'm not giving it away because I don't like it because I do like it. It's a great one. It's a, quite an old one. Um, and it's all it's all kind of sort of grungy, but it's quite a pretty one. And it's got um, lovely roses on there and some nice scripts. So, and it's a decent size stamp as well. So that's going to go to somebody today. Ah, maybe I should show you it that way around. So you see the roses are on there in the vase. You, know, you can't see from there the vase, can you? But if you look at the back, you can see the vase in there. So it's a big studio like one. So that's going to go to somebody tonight if you've already got it don't uh, shout the numbers out right so let's just do i want the green again do i want the green again not right at the moment so i'm going to get rid of the green i'll clean that off just keep me keep me matte a little bit to be honest with you if you guys weren't watching i would keep my blobs on my mat and carry on and if I did get it on the back of it, I wouldn't be bothered. But I'm trying to keep my area um, nice and tidy. So, but normally I would just keep keep my inks on my mat. So round the shoe, if I just take a little bit of water and see if I can wiggle um, a little bit of that colour that's already on there, because the eco lines are very juicy, shall I say, in ink pigment. So little areas. Where I haven't gone in close, I can just touch up without actually adding any more paint. So just move that. Even though I've given it a little bit of a blast, I can sort of reactivate that ink just just a little, if that makes sense. So I've just tidied up those two areas that were kind of screaming at me. <coughs> um, and I'll go, I will go in and add sort of some cloud detail and bits and pieces, but I want it to dry off a little bit. Oh. Yeah, you're ready to work on, on this. Right, so we're going to go with the shoe and we'll start with the inner piece first. So I want a wet, a wet paintbrush. And I'm just going to do a little bit more water. Just going to do the inside of the shoe. And the inside bit here and the same down there just that area and you never know if I speed the process up I might do two tonight who reckons I will we had to take our little oh 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 dear right I want a little bit of yellow that doesn't sound good Kim a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink I'm going to mix it. I'm going to actually. I'm going to start with yellow. Wait, wait. See how bright this is. Bright yellow. Oh, that's a lovely bright yellow. I'm going to spin that round, and I'm going to do this section and inside there. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of pink and go over the top and make that kind of peachy pink. I'm going to turn it, so I don't want that big block, and move that pink down there. And then where it's puddled in that corner there, I'm just going to get my tissue, dry off my paintbrush and just pull out some of that paint. So it's not a big puddle. I can just see a little touch of white there, so I'm just going to gently go down that moving that color pick up a tiny touch of pink again only a little bit and take it over the yellow on the inside there it's a funny color what would you class that as it's kind of a peachy pink <coughs> it's being on antibiotic anti i don't call it antibiotic i can't say antibiotics i call it antibiotics they're supposed to make you all better, aren't they? And bionic again. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to dry my brush off and then I'm just going to pick up just a little bit of the pink. And I'm just going to go down the stitching. And then into the rest of the shoe, just down the stitching on that side. 
I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. And if it starts to sort of bleed in, that's fine. And again, just darken. I won't do the base fit of that shoe because I kind of want them colours to be just a little bit different. And I'm going to dry off my brush and then I'm just going to gently blend it in. Sorry, it's this one. It's almost looking like you're seeing more of the yellow down at the bottom there. So I'm just kind of tickling it with the brush. And I'm quite happy with that. I'll let that dry. Yeah, fingers crossed it does help. Right, now for the shoe. Hmm, decisions, decisions. What colours shall I do? Shall I stick with the pink and just do solid, solid pink? Or shall I change to a different colour? We have got, we have got, obviously pink, yellow, we've got blue, we've got green, we've got black. I really want to do black. Um, there's brown and there is a purple and a orange. It's kind of a deep orange, you, orange to red and an orange and a grey. Hmm. Colour choices. It's not quite knitted together yet. Oh. How have I got through my coffee so quickly? Purple. Interesting. Purple. You think? Okay. Pink and purple. Hey, why not? And good evening, Caroline. How are you doing? Right. Right. Kind of a purpley balloon. Oh. So, purple. Right. Uh, whoop. Well, a whit, a little bit more water. So I'm just going to do the heel or the heel. Yeah, it is a sort of a heel of the shoe. Get that with water on. Spin it round and down into the sole. Okay, purple. Here we go. So pick up a little. This is. I love watching paint move. It's a bit strange, isn't it? But it's just one of those things. Down. Could go really psychedelic and do like yellow heels. <laughs> this is like one of these really posh shoes that's been lined with, you know, a bright colour. is like uh, I think I'm doing this almost like a make a bit of base coat and then go back in there we go so I'm not bothered about that lighter area being there because that's probably where I would have it lighter I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more around the edge the area where I want it darker. Do you know, I think it's over a year that I've actually played with these. I suddenly thought, oh, I don't think I've had them out for ages. And the colours are just lovely. This is a really nice shade of purple. I'm going to rinse off my brush and I've just got a dry brush now so, well not a dry, a damp brush and I'm just moving the paint around that's on there so I want this area to be lighter but I don't want it too too light so I'm just moving that around a little bit more and then where I've got that there's a little bit of a line down here I just want to soften that up so it's not too 
too light but I quite like it and now I'm going to add a little tiny touch of grey to that and the grey will darken it up this grey is a really really nice grey I'll go down this where the stitching is I think actually I might do the soul grey as well. Let's have a bit more grey. Not, not overly chatty today because we're talking about poly doggies. Now I'm going to go with the grey for the heel. I think I will add a touch of black to that. Don't often use black. I'm just going to do the cap of the heel. So I've got the grey on there. Let's go with the black. Now just stick to the purple for the top of the shoe. Mm. I'm thinking maybe you've been working to care uh, to care. You've been working today, care. Whoa, she put too much black on. Hey, are we going to rescue that, guys? This could go terribly wrong. Tell it when I want it. She says she put too much black on, and then what do I do? I carry on adding more. Uh, just a little bit over there. Right, rinse my brush. So I'm just going to clean my brush off. Dry it off, and let's move some of that black I'm just going to take my tissue it's really strong that black isn't it Get out, pull some out Just going to, I've got a little bit of the black has come up into the purple and I don't really want it there. So I'm just taking a wet paintbrush over that and hopefully, take my little cloth again, a little bit of tissue. I better pull that off. Yeah. And, uh, doesn't look as harsh as it did before. Have a look. How's that look? I think we've got for the same purple. I'm gonna go for it. Oh no, I want to wet it first. A little bit of water on. Also means you use less paint. Get the ink flowing. Jimmy Choo, good design pair. 
<laughs> or couldn't decide that. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> you seen the price of Jimmy Choo's? You were in it, what, seven this morning? For an urgent order. So I'm just going to give it a quick blast off. I like to let things dry naturally, but you know, for a live. <laughs> Thanks, Maxine. There we go. And this is where I like using my pencils to try tidy up any little draggy bits. So I always find it difficult when somebody's watching me. You couldn't walk in those. You know, I used to wear them, and, and you'll probably be the same, working behind the back. How did I miss that little bit of blue there? What an Egypt. I've missed a little tiny bit of blue. Must have thought that the heel was going right off there. Well, we'll get that sorted out. So, oh, let's get another little drop of blue. So let's sort that out first before. Walk that down a bit. And yeah, I used to wear heels that side behind a bar, you know, and do, you know, four or five hours on my feet running up and down. Carter bar shoes. That's what I call them sit down shoes now. <laughs> oh, and I've got so many beautiful pairs of shoes. You know, what we call, call what I call sit down shoes now. So that's a bit heavy, heavy in that bit. I'm just going to take, again, I've just got water on there now and just blend that out a little bit. So. Okay. <laughs> Sit down, shoes for sure. Mm. So what colour am I going to go with the heel? I think because I've done the sole of the shoe, got a dark grey with a little bit of black, I'm going to do the same with the heel. Spangly, spangly shoes, that's for sure. So we'll go with grey first. I'm keeping it fairly loose and teeny touch black. Don't go crazy on this one now, shall we? And just rinsing my brush again so it's just water. Used to always wear the stilettos. Was the one the ones with the really, really pointy at the front as well? Or the sketches. <laughs> the mummer's in lockdown, it's been slick as our bare feet at home. So putting a pair of shoes on is driving me insane. It's really and I've got flat feet, so just pulling a little touch of colour out of that. That was really daft because I'm going to pick up a tiny bit more of the black. Take some out, put some in. I think that's the advantage of watercolour, really, isn't it? You can kind of move it around a little bit. Okay, I'll let that, that dry off as well. Oh, give it a blast. Yeah, I quite like wedges. It's funny, isn't it, when you put a wedge on, you could have a, a really big wedge. And yet you'll put that on, but you couldn't wear a stiletto. And it, the height, the same height, but your foot is equally spread, so your weight's equally spread, spread out across your foot. But with a stiletto, it's on that tiny little point, isn't it? So that's what that's about. Right, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go with purple. A mixed purple with, mm, mm, mm. let's just have a little experiment on here, see what colours we get. Let's get that purple. Just wondering if I do purple with a touch of the grey or do I do purple with a touch of the black. Let's have a look. So pick up some grey, pick up some purple. 
that's a little bit deeper. Let's pick up a bit more. It's quite a quite of a, a dusky. Now let's try <coughs> picking up the purple with a teeny bit of black. Oh, that's deep. Oh, I like that colour. Mmm, that's quite nice. I like that. Wow, it's all dark. That's quite nice, just a touch of the black. I think I'm going to go for that. Blue with a touch of black. Okay, right. That one the water on. To do all these little dots. See, this is where I'd rather get my pencil because I feel more confident with pencil. And I'm going to do this. These fine lines. I don't want them black like the line art is. Quiet. Ooh, I need to bring bring it in. Bring it in towards. Okay. Give all your high heels to a, a touch of oh. <laughs> I remember my mum gave me a pair of boots with a real quite a, a, a chunky sole. Um, you know, like the base of it was probably chunky like that one. And the heels were quite a chunky heel. And they, they were knee boots. They were very expensive leather ones. And they were really quite nice. And I wore them, wore them a few times, mainly under my jeans. Anyway, decided to... Give them away to a charity shop and blow me down with a bag of wet cheese. They came back into fashion. <laughs> I was absolutely mortified. And these were like boots that she'd have from the 60s. I'm going to take that same, same principle of using the blue. Let's pick up a bit there. And a little touch of the black. And mixing that together. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. To the heel. I'm going to take it with the stitch in. So this is my faffy stage. Just going to pull that up. Need a little bit more water. That was it. Neil's just bought you a donut, uh, do, bought you a kebab. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've not had one for years. Oh, do you know, I want to ring my son up now and say, where can I order a kebab from? Oh my. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be on very much longer, guys. <laughs> I hope Robbie... Uh, doesn't turn around and say but I'm doing X, Y and Z or you're having a full roast beef dinner or something because I really want a kebab now <laughs> that's like when you mentioned chocolate I was going to do another one in a different colour web I am so hungry now uh, they always say that fashion comes back they do indeed so I'm just going to carry on just add a little bit more up here And I'm just going to give it a quick blast. That's only a quick, a quick blast on there. So I'm just going to rinse my brush. Make sure that that's dry. Because I don't want to go back in and mess about with it too much. 
if it's not dry. Do you know I would never put those colours together, but I quite like it, and that's what I liked about doing the lines of you guys give, give me a colour choice, and I think, ooh, should I, shouldn't I? Ooh. But you never know until you try, and if somebody said do X, we've given it a go. Right, so I'm just going to take um, another little blob of green. I might do a bit of green and blue. Let's just test it. So, a little bit of green, pick up a little bit of blue, make it a little bit sort of more turquoise instead of, um, what did we do, how did we get this one? I think it was the, the green and the brown together before, hmm, I'm not too sure. Oh, let's put let's put a little bit of turquoise in because it'd be wrong if I didn't, so we'll have some of that there. Not that I've ever seen grass that colour, but my picture. We'll have a bit over here. And we'll have a bit in there. Let's we'll spin it around and we'll put some underneath the shoe. And we'll just have a touch of the regular green in there. Get some strands in. Definitely different. We'll do that stem over the top. I think I've got them so I've got all the little green blobs that I need. <gasps> still thinking about the kebab. I've still got my what what's that? My high thing is. Still got my Fi high suede boots. Oh, I bet you can't get rid of them. I bet they were pricey as well. What about them cowboy boots? Them expensive cowboy boots you bought from America. How many pairs have you got? Okay. Your cowboy boots. Yeah. Right, what am I gonna do with these bits? What colour? See, I would like to do them white, and I think I will do them white, so that'll be the white gel pen. Mm -mm -mm. If I'm gonna put I'm gonna make them white, or I could make them a colour. Hmm, unsure of that. Oh, well, let's see. Hey, on screen it looks sunny there. Looks like a big blob and all there, but hold it up, it looks. Does it look any better, Glass? Does it look worse? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Doesn't look like that in real life. What the heck is going on there? Right. Oh well, she's what it is. Right, so I'm just going to change the look of this straight line by picking up my green. Just do. So we have that, just a few little, little bits. And then I'll take a little, it was a brown, wasn't it? I'm not too, I think that's black, so I need the brown. I want to get my favourite shoes. My fav, my, I want to get my fabulous shoe stamps out now, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, next time I'll have to put a post up saying what I'm actually using. But then you can always go back in if you wanted to experiment and try what I've been doing. Of course, you don't have to use the Ecoline. You could use any watercolour that you want. I'm just going to add, so I've mixed the same green with a little bit of brown. I was just going to add a few little... It's not supposed to look realistically, it's just a bit of, bit of fun. I think sometimes we try too hard to make things look realistic. I'm not like I'm gonna be sending it to take gallery. You just know that I have to get my pencils out now. Have to get my pencils out. It's just wrong. Itching, itching, itching. If that, I think I'll tell you what mine do. Mm -mm. Yeah, I've got my blue there. Yeah, I think I have. So this, oh no, that's my favourite. Well, okay, you can stay there. 
What are you? You are your sea blue. And we've got deep. Ah, I have. Okay. I've got um, a deep indigo um, Darwin Intense. I'm just going to add this. I'm going to add a touch because the card is slightly textured. I'm going to tidy up my edges. And I'm going quite soft on this. Well, the stitching is. I'll spin it round. This is my faffy stage. Do around the stitching here. A little bit down there where the stitching, the two cross over. I'll have a tiny touch. I'm not going all the way around the toe, but just part of the toe. And using the pencil sideways on. You know, I'm much happier with that now. <laughs> Just a little bit of pencil. I might even do the same on the... You know, even though mm, I could get a grey one out, but I think I'm just going to stick to the blue. I was going to take the water to it, but I think I'm actually going to leave it as is. I'm not going to add any water. I'm going to leave it all kind of sketchy. That's it. Do the same with the heel. I think we're going to go on the inside bit here. Kind of reminds me of chalks in a way when it hits the surface of the paper. And you use your pastel paper and your chalks. Right, leave it alone now, shall we? I think. I'm quite happy with that. Right, white. White, white, white. Okay. I have got the um, Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof Waterproof Blah de Blah um, White Paint. And. It does last a long time. You don't need a lot of it. It's a small but mighty tub. You really don't need a lot of it. So I'll just make sure my paintbrush is clean. And I'm just going to get a decent blob out on there. Let's I'm going to start over this area first because if I start there, I'm going to put my hand in it. I'm quite good at doing that, so I do the top one. And I was going to do this with a gel pen, and then I thought, oh, I actually want to add a little bit more white into the cloud. You know, as if there's sort of clouds on there as well, which I'll do. Because it's looking, I don't know why, but it's looking blobby on screen. And if it's looking blobby on screen, and the chances are, I want to take a photo of it, it'll look blobby as well. But I'm obviously up close and personal, it don't look blobby to me. But I'd go away, make a coffee, come back and have a look at it, and it'll look completely different again. Which is it? 
I know these are only little tiny bits, but I haven't dipped back into that paint yet. Do you want half my kebab? <laughs> Do you know if you were right next to me, I'd say yes. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? I'm going to be speaking to my son saying, I really want a kebab. Where can I get one from? <laughs> right, I'm just going to walk that down a little bit more. And I'm just going to go, go for it. <laughs> this is where... A um, like a sponge would be great, you know, natural sponge and just blob into it, but and just break, break these <laughs> clumps down, if that makes sense. And I can always take my, what's it called, a bit of tissue here. Let's, it's, just, it's obviously really, really annoyed me. Let's just do it a bit. Probably better off with a different paintbrush, but I haven't got a mass of paintbrushes out. I can't be bothered to get up because I probably, as soon as I get up, I probably want to go to the toilet. Right. Uh, happy with that now. Miss what you were using there. Sorry, my dear. It is the bleed proof, um, the Dr. P.H. Martin's bleed proof uh, white. It, it is really, really good, Maxine. If I was going to recommend anything, I don't sell it. Um, I'm not on commission for it or anything. I don't do the, what do they call them now? The get money for sales. What the fuck commission say? Um, but Dr. Pierre Martin um, Bleed Proof White. It's really, really good. It's a small tub. Well, you can see in my hand, but it lasts such a long time. You don't need a lot. That's just broke that down and torn, torn it down on my pace. So... A um, little bit jacky at the edges, so I would go in and trim that. Let me just clean up my paintbrush. Affiliated, thank you, Lou. Affiliated links, yeah. So, right. let's just check. Those are all. I've enjoyed that. I need to play with these more. Because kind of got me a little bit nervous. Good evening, Sarah Jo. It got me a little bit nervous there because um, <coughs> I haven't used them for ages. You know, something that you use quite a lot and you've got confidence with, it, it's fine. But, you know, it's a nice little little piece there. Let's clean up my finger. Let's wipe that off. Oh, how could I have forgot? I've got some really exciting news. Hello, Jane. How are you, my dear? I've got some really exciting news. Really, really exciting news. Oh, I don't know what I should tell you, actually. The boss might tell me off. <laughs> oh, that's me, isn't it? <laughs> that's me, <isn't> it? <laughs> Yeah, the boss might tell me off. I've got some exciting news. I think, oh, maybe I should leave that until... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should leave that until Saturday. Is it, is it Saturday or Sunday? Oh, I can't remember. I think I'm in. I think I'm in crafting together on either Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. I'd have to have a look. But uh, there's definitely a few lives going ahead on Sunday. In here, so uh, what? Just for me. I think our Lou will be in on Sunday as well. What you, Lou? She's got some exciting stuff too. Exciting, exciting stuff. Okay, have, have, have I said too much? Have I said too much? So, okay, I've just trim, I trimmed off here. I trimmed off this side because that was annoying me. I could have gone all the way around. I can't remember if it, I didn't do the bottom because I didn't want to take too much off of that. But I think that's quite a, a simple little piece there. Yeah, new, new bits and bobs. New bits and bobs, and I can use. No, you're you're a dirty piece of card that you're going to be for inky background. So, don't know if I want to put it on black. Not too sure. What do you think, guys? Should you go on black? Yes, Lou and myself have got some exciting new things. Some goodies. 
There we go. Next, do I pop it on a bit of black? Hey, why not? Yeah, okay. Right, we'll do that. So, trim that up and trim. And then we'll do our number thing. So if anybody is in who doesn't know what we do with our number thing, it's basically I write on a piece of paper a number. You've got to guess what the number is, and it's the first one that comes on my screen. And sometimes it may look like you have you have said it before somebody else, but it depends on my feed on my computer, and that's what I go off. And I've shown it on time times if I want to get it down and show you. I don't know if I can get it down and show you because just over there is secret stuff. So yeah, I think I've trimmed that. My gillies a bit. I trim that and mount that on black. Oh, I quite like that. Oh, I could add the birds into it. I might do that. I might do that later. Add the birds. Hello, Molly. But Molly's Molly's come up to say it's my dinner time and my walk time, haven't you, Molly? Eh? Is that what you wanting? Are you want? Oh, bounding over my stuff. Are you wanting to go out? Is it that time of night? Eh? Hey, I keep on. I swear you've got an alarm clock fixed here. Right. So that's my piece. But if you haven't seen, my giveaway tonight is this um, Ravelar stamp. It's studio lights on it. It's a great one. You've got a, um, a bunch of flowers in a vase, some script, and it's kind of a little bit sort of grungy in there. So if you've already got it, got what time on Sunday? We'll put it up in the group care later and probably on the page of what time we're doing um, the lives. <coughs> so we... Yeah, watch this, watch this space. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So this is the one that I'm going to give away tonight. Of course, you have to PM me. P PM me rather than, um, as in Chairman Barrett, rather than um, Dolly Dimples. It comes through easier. And it depends if I'm going to switch out of this. So I need a piece of paper. That'll do. And a number. So we're going to have number on the back of that one so on the back of there is the number uh, 1 to 30 for this stamp set which I will post out tomorrow with tomorrow's post well, thank you for your company guys so it's not 23 Sarah John after you keep buffering hmm. strange it's been alright for me so 1 to 30 if you want to win that stamp set. Mm, it's not 23, Sarah John. Try again. Oh my goodness. Has everybody got that stamp set? This is like, or is my internet on God's law? So with me guys in my comments it's not 23 try again you oh, me am oh I Oh gee, right. It's gone it's gone bonkers. Nothing came up for ages there, so obviously internet in my hand's gone crazy. I'm I'm having to scroll back up now, guys. Uh, stay with me. So scroll back up. So I've got Sarah John with twenty three, Kim with twenty two, ten Jacqueline, thirty Maxine. Oh, hang on. Is that said that again? Twenty three Sarah John, twenty two Kim. 1 Jacqueline, 30 Maxi, 25 Mary, 19 Maxi, um, 9 Mary, 8 Mary, 10 Maxine Elizabeth. So that you were the first to go in. So that's number 10 comes to you. Um, sorry if it's further down, we got it again. Don't know. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. 1, 2, 30. Louise, you're a bad, bad one before. 
actually ooh, looks like you were the only one who said 10 actually so maxine elizabeth uh if you pm me your address i will post that stamp set out to you so i'm going to say good evening to you all guys have fun and if you want to see what me and lou have got in store um for you at the weekend we will be on on sunday bye guys take care